So let's start with some of the things around dressing your shape. So um, each of these will be a different shape and we all need to know little bits about you know what, what works best for us. So we'll start with pear shaped girls or A-frames. Now, how do you know if you're an A-frame or pear shape? Is when you stand in front of your full length mirror in your underwear, in the privacy of your own home, um, what you do is you're looking at the width of your shoulder versus the width of your hip. So if your shoulders are narrower than your hips and thighs, then you are A-framed or pear shaped. And it has nothing at all to do with the size of your boobs because you can be a pear shape that has big boobs. So that's kind of a bit of a myth. It's about the width of your shoulder versus the width of your hip. So if that's you, where your shoulders are narrower than what happens down here at the top of your thighs and your hips, what that means is you want stuff that's going to grab your attention up high. So on the upper third of your body, you're wanting to make as much va va voom at the shoulders as you can, and then that kind of just will fade away. So some tricks for you is to go for things that are light and bright. So for example, you know, a light colour top, throw a scarf on because it draws your attention up. If you're not a scarf girl, it's a great pair of earrings or a necklace or even a bright lippy, but drawing your attention upwards is good. And as soon as you team that back with, say for example, just a, a simple pair of dark pants, what happens there is, you know, the top half, because it's a lighter colour, and we see colour as light, this actually reflects more light comes forward, and the deeper colour recedes against it. So it's a balancing act that way. So you're adding a bit of va va by adding some colour. Throw into the mix something perhaps like with a bit of texture, and I'm really going for it with this gorgeous, ethically sourced ostrich. But we're adding a whole lot of stuff. If you see this person walking towards you, all you notice is that top half. So that's what you want. You want people focusing on your top half. Now that's not to say that you have to live your life in boring old pants, you know what I mean? Or that, or dark denim or black pants or whatever it is. You can wear print, you can wear skirts, but the principles remain the same. So if you're going to do a print skirt, and this one here, you can absolutely do it. It's a deeper tone. Back again with your light. So again, lighter colour, reflecting more light, coming forward, deeper colour recede. So you're balancing it out that way. If you put this back with a really dark top, what happens is that's going to become the thing. Now I just have to find a dark top. There we go. If you put it back with a simple dark top, what happens there is it's all about the skirt. It's all about the bottom half. So that's why you want to balance it with something light and bright on top. The other things that you can do if you're pear shaped, things to reach for is be your fluffies, gorgeous bits of detail, scarves, um, detail up at the neck so you're drawing your eye up high, little breast pockets on shirts, so again drawing your eye up high. As I mentioned, as I mentioned, 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 beautiful print, so get your print going on top because it sort of throws a lot of attention. Our eye likes print, so we, if we put our print, that's where it grabs our attention, so we want that on your upper body. Um, it's a really easy way to do that. Some stripes, quite fun. So you're adding a little bit of horizontal stuff. So we're adding some width up top. Nice, strong, wide necklines, like this gorgeous knit with its beautiful wide V-neck. And you're creating some width up at your shoulder. Throw a scarf in here, just a t-shirt, whatever. But you're lifting the focus up to the upper part of your body. And that's the key for dressing your pear shape. 